just been watching is uh, a speed of that video of about two hours of me messing about um, trying a mechanical um, gear door using uh, springs elastic bands and uh, you know a little lever some I still left one of the hooks on there um, which in the end I gave up on <laughs> I just put a servo in the front here glued it to the two little latches to the each of the doors for two lot two wires um, um, I didn't haven't used a timer or anything what I've done is I've done it on the radio so I've done a mix on the radio between a ch um, an auxiliary channel and the gear gears um, plug the gear door receiver into the auxiliary channel and then I've timed it to shut very slow so that the uh, gear and the doors start at the same time but the gear goes down a lot quicker than what the door shut and then when I put the gear down I've left the time normal as you can see so that the gear door doors basically open straight away and then the gear comes up so they don't hinder each other on the coming out and I'll put it down again and I'll see what you think so, as you can see, that's starting to move slowly, but the door goes past it before it gets too far shut. And then over the next 15 seconds, that'll just carry on shutting until it's finished. Um, this won't give a problem in flight, and um, it gives us working gear doors. They're not the best. Um, oh, I didn't perceive this. I should have really had the hinges on the insides. Um, not how they are, they're not very nice hinges like that. I haven't got any other good hinges that would have made good hinges for gear door. Um, I like the little slotted ones on the inside that are uh, similar to like ones you'd use if you're using Fowler flaps so that the, they, they come out and curved so they would go round and curved inside. Um, they're my favourite ones for gear doors, so I've got nothing like that at the moment and I think you're all aware that it's not so easy to get stuff at the moment. Um, we either wait for months for, for postage or we pay four times the price, you, you know, of what we have been paying um, ever since the Covid and that. A lot of things have dried up or got harder to get. But anyway, that all aside. That's what I come with. When this is all painted up, these hinges are a bit annoying for me, but they won't show too much. Uh, that can come off. Um, and at least I've got gear door now. So, yeah, that'll do. Um, like I say, don't laugh too much. I probably will put that video on there because at the end of the day, I don't, you know, I learn as much as anybody else. And uh, no doubt there'll be some good comments in the in the box and that. And, um, you know, anyone with any better ideas. Like I say, I do know that my hinges are rubbish. So I think the servo idea of using the timer um, was uh, quite a good idea. That saves any extra electronics or, or switching gear of, of any type. Um, so I don't want to put the doors on a separate switch to the retracts. Um, that involves its own problems. That's not the norm. Most of us don't do that. You know, I have seen people on the internet um, that do do that. Um, but it's just something else to think about. And I don't think very fast these days, so I just want to try and keep the airplane in the air without worrying about the gear door. So this seems to work, and it seems to do the job, and it looks okay. And uh, these will now need varnishing up and sand and varnishing and making a little bit better and tidying up and then um, painting. So... Yeah, I'll sort that all out on the, as I go. 
Um, other than that, we're already starting to get there still. So that's why I thought I'd show you this video. Um, I think um, elevators going on next. Um, I need to clear my bench up a bit. I've got a hell of a mess here. Um, I'm messing about with these gear doors. There's bits everywhere. So, well, I'm pleased that's done anyway. So, yeah. Um, uh, just a, a little update. I have made my final decision now. Um, I am going to build a ME262 next. That's going to be the next airplane. I've ordered the kit. Um, I say kit. It's from Seric. Um, it's one of their ones you have to wait for. So basically the canopy, now they've got my order, they'll start sorting out and they'll form the canopy, form the nose cones or any cones that you get, any plastic parts that come. I think there'll only be the two on that. Um, laser cut the wood, wood. so I'm going to have a laser cut. Um, I didn't look to see who that was made by. Um, I will find out and let you know who the designer of it was. Um, I think that's 50 or 52 inch wingspan. That's going to be ideal. Like I say, I've got a couple of lovely 12 bladed fans to go in it. Um, So I've got two of these to go in, um, they're the Predators, um, 2860, KV, 1850, 70mm, uh, 12-bladed fans, uh, run on 6-cell, uh, so they are going to be very, very nice. They're from M FMS, and they came out of the FMS... A10 Thunderbolt um, Mark II or V2 version 2 so they were the upgraded ones because these are not outrunner motors these are in runners so they're about 10 to 15 percent path load better than the outrunners so yeah so they should be pretty good and um, they certainly parked the old A10 around nicely um, so I got caught out on the A10 because the A10s they're nice flying airplane when they're in the sky, but they do have this tendency, anyone who's flown them uh, and that will know, they have this tendency of jumping off the ground and then putting the nose down and wanting to land again. Um, and that's what caught me out a few times and I kept breaking the front retract on it, um, which was annoying. Um, and then I had a really bad day and i done exactly the same again, but this time it, it, it snapped off the one of the mains bounced on the ground and got it up but one of the mains came out and off and hung and before I could get round it fell off and the corn was two foot high at the time and we never could find it um, and the canopy also blew off on the same flight and that, well, that was annoying as well um, and when I went to and we couldn't, couldn't find that neither so when I went to FMS to see if I could um, get spare ones I tried um, CNC I think it's the UK main supplier spare parts for them your mod shop will get them for you as well but that was that was ridiculous amount of money that for the retrack and the canopy you were looking at about 160 pound I only paid a 220 quid for the airplane because I, I, I must admit I bought it off someone who who bought it and never flew it so I didn't pay full the 400 quid price that they normally at um so that just seemed too expensive to me and the parts in it seemed too good to let go so i thought now i'm going to strip it down use what i've got in there the servos uh, the motors the speed controllers and everything for something that i want to build so that's why these are sitting here spare ready to go into the next airplane yeah and uh, along with Speed controllers all wired up. 70 amp speed controllers, uh, brushless control, uh, two to six cell lipos, uh, built in five amp spec, 
So, and they're all wired up ready to go. The backs are all wired properly, so yeah. So that's going to be good. I can't remember that. I think they just have to go on here, but one of the wires will be cut. There it is. That's the cut wire, because you, if you're using two, two speed controllers, you can only use one live from one of the speed controllers. You have to cut the other live and make certain that's put safe, which this one is. They haven't actually cut it. They've, uh, they've actually just pulled it back out of the plastic sheath and uh, bent it back. So that means that if you ever want to use a speed controller by itself, it's not been knackered by someone cutting the wire. Um, yeah, so, meh. so they are basically ready to go. So, and they, again, a predator. And they match the motors so so they're going to be a nice set of motors to go into that 262 so we're looking forward to that and uh, as soon as it gets here i'll give you a preview of how it comes and we'll see that um i'll try and do my unboxing a bit more professional um i don't think that'll come in a box but we shall see i might come in something um yeah and uh as soon as that's here but this now is really getting on a um, bit more sanding to do like I said to you before that's all you do on these things is sand sand and more sand and um, but I'm getting pretty happy with it I'm hoping it's supposed to be a bit calmer tomorrow here so all go well I might be able to get another coat of primer on it tomorrow um, and if that goes well and there ain't too many more dimples and bimples and bumps and lumps um, could even be getting close to starting to think about the, the main, main paint so we shall see all right all right thank you for watching hit the subscribe button if you like it if you don't don't <laughs> uh, thumbs ups are always nice um, and like I say leave your comments um, I don't possess to know everything so I don't even know how to turn the radio off look System idle. Um, there we go. Yeah, like I say, anything I can learn is also uh, handy as well, and I'll pass anything on. Any nice, good comments I get, I shall pass on. I, I like the comment, like I say, it would, would be something I'd do. Some, like I said, someone said about using 3 mil plankton instead of 2. Yes, you do more sanding on the wood, but you would end up doing a lot less filling. Um, probably get a nicer job and you probably wouldn't add more any more weight to the airplane than what you do do it using two mil and filling it all um, so if I have to do a lot of planking because I think the 262 has a round fuselage and two round na engine nacelles and I've got a feeling they'll be neat doing in um, strip wood so um, yeah so I will um, see what comes in the kit and if it isn't thick enough I might actually go out and buy more wood and uh, use a thicker wood and also if I can find my really posh um, cutter for cutting the strips I'll um, also see about using an angle on it as well so that the as the wood wraps around you get a really nice joint um, so anyway I'll carry on do a bit more sanding I shall bring you back when there's something more to see or I shall do a speeded up film of the process that's um, going to happen from now onwards. Um, just so you've got something to watch, keep you interested. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. Alright, bye bye.